Understandably, the Tuscarawas County community continues to struggle with this disaster, but it's coming together in a big way to help the families of victims. Our Lydia Espara is there. The accident on I-70 near Columbus left the community in Tuscarawas County shattered. A lot of people in this community, we've never experienced anything like this. Michelle Spring is a DJ at WJER Radio in Dover. You've got uh, a GoFundMe page up there. I know the GoFundMe page started out at, I think, less than 24 hours ago, and I think they're already up to like $35,000, which is incredible. This is her community, and they are here to help. Stop in and get one. Chris Call is making yard signs. The yard signs, these are what some actually people wanted bigger ones, so. So what this one is? Yeah, this is the typical yard sign, 18 by 24, and this is what we've donated. Signs he created to raise money for the victims of the accident. Six people died in that accident, and he wants their families to know there's nothing he wouldn't do to help heal them. When something like this hits, it hits it's like it hits your family. So far, he has raised $5,000 in just one day, and he's not selling them. Anyone can have one, just give a donation. And folks here have been generous. We live in such a tight-knit community that you know somebody who knows somebody that is affected by this. For spring, she lives here, she works here, and was born here. She knows healing will take time, and it's the small gestures that make a difference. We love each other so much, and when one of us is hurting, the others will wrap our arms around each other and really kind of lift them up. And the days ahead will be tougher and longer as this community prepares to bury six of their own. In Tuscarawas County, Lydia Spara, 3 News.